In this video, I'm gonna be taking the exact product that I found in the Shark Tank TV program that generated over $177 million in revenue and was ranked the third best ever product seen on the TV show. And I'm gonna be building a one product style around this product. And then I'm gonna be going on AliExpress and buying the knockoff version. And then I'm gonna be using Instagram influencers to promote it. And then after 24 hours, I'm gonna be sharing all my results with you. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Kamal Sata, known as the Econ King. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a 24 hour challenge. It's not just your typical challenge though. I'm gonna be taking a product from Shark Tank. Now, if you've never watched Shark Tank before, it's a TV show where entrepreneurs go on there trying to promote their products to investors so the investor invests into them so they can make their product a success. Now, hundreds of thousands of entrepreneurs have gone on there and I'm selling the third best ever product that has been a success where an investor's invested into it and they've been able to generate over 177 million dollars in revenue in this video you're gonna actually see me build the website live you're also gonna see me message Instagram influencers live as well so you can learn from it and I'm also gonna be making all the video content live as well which means it's a great opportunity for you guys to learn how I take on building a new store messaging Instagram influencers and also making the videos for them so get your snacks get your popcorn get some drinks and take some notes on a notepad and pen because you don't want to miss out on this knowledgeable video not just that it's gonna be a great entertainment video to watch so the first part of this challenge is going to be me picking a name for the store, building the website and also making the logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time thinking about some name ideas for the store and then I'm going to roll the time lapse and show you guys me building the store live, making the logo.
after roughly between three and four hours, I've just finished the website and I'm gonna be showing you the website on my mobile phone. And then I'm also gonna be showing you the Simply Fitness Board website, which is the official store that was saw on Shark Tank. So you guys get some ideas of where I've got the inspiration from. And you can see in the top left, they've got a simple logo. And in the right hand side, they've got a slogan, which says the workout, uh, the workout board with a twist. So that's their brand slogan. And then you can see the first image is the person that invented the idea. Then you've got the woman from Shark Tank on there holding it um, as some proof of concept. It's a way of building trust with customers. To be seen on Shark Tank, you can see it says there, as seen on Shark Tank, that's gonna build a lot of trust with people. And then you can see they've got an order now button, and then they've got a video of the product, and then they've got a $19.99 buy one, get one free. So this funnel is very, very salesy um, and very, very spammy. Then they've got a slogan again, which says millions sold worldwide to build more trust. If millions have been sold worldwide, why would you have to worry about ordering one? Then they talk a little bit about what comes with the product then they've got another order now button then they've got more trust badges then they've got each simply fit board comes with a board a dvd set and a 60 day money back guarantee then they cover the features and the highlights then they've got another order now button so this is so so funnily such a click funnel kind of way of doing things and then they've got more illustrations showing the proof that this can really help with your abs and your legs then they talk about how it comes in four colors which each one comes with a cd then they talk about how it's easy to put under your bed they talk about you can do it anywhere from your house outdoors anything then they talk about you can do advanced workouts with the board too so it talks it gets people that are an advanced workouter not to worry about it and look at it as a beginner product they're going to look at it and think damn it it's going to help me as well as an advanced person that works out then they put another little slogan which says this offer is not available in store that way it gives people like an exclusive feel because they're on the online site they're going to get a better discount so that's going to get them a higher conversion rate then you can see they've got their security your checkout which is super super salesy they've got an upsell there as well order my product with a dulex set so they've got that upsell going on there which is going to increase the average order value then they've got their terms and conditions now you can see this website doesn't even have a menu bar the reason why it doesn't have a menu bar is because it's a home page funnel so they don't need a menu bar any pages that they need to access will be in the bottom of the footer that's literally it so guys you can see them on my website now and you can see the name i've picked for my store is the home fitness board.com and that's kind of very very similar to their name and the reason why i picked something similar to their name is because obviously their name's done very very well it's gone viral so why not name mine something similar and if somebody reads that straight away they're going to understand exactly what the product's about so when you when you hear the name homefitnessboard.com you're going to think of a board from home and it's going to keep you fit so it's very very self-explanatory then you can see at the bottom of my website i've got a cookies um, notification now by law you need one so i don't want to get into any copyright problems so that's why i've got it there now the theme that i'm using is the day beautify guru plan and then you could also see i've got in the shipping bar million sold worldwide to build some proof of concept and if you remember i've taken that from their other website so on their website they've actually got that same slogan million sold worldwide so i've used that as my own website too then you can see in the top left i've got my menu bar it says home shop home fitness board and you can see on the home page i've got a picture of a guy and a woman using it and they've both got bodies that people want to have that way it's going to entice people to want to buy the board because they're going to think they're going to get those results now you can see it says here home fitness board reinventing the home workouts for women that way i've made a very bold statement and people are going to think that we are the best for home workout solutions so you can see i've got the shop now button there in blue now the reason why i've made it blue is because my brand colors are blue white and black so that follows my brand color scheme and then you can see when you scroll down it says fun easy way to engage your core in minutes a day it's like a little slogan that's going to catch people then it shows the product home fitness board with the star reviews then you can see I've got the price, which is in pounds. Now I've got best currency convert pro on this website. That way it translates it all in pounds for me or whatever currency people are coming from. Then you can see it says save eight pound and 14 pence. That way it's going to make people feel like they're going to get a deal. Then you can see I've got a few of those call to action um, scarcity tactics going on there. I've got only 14 left in stock. 14 people are viewing the site. And then I put an average shipping time. That way it's going to build more trust with my audience. And I put the average shipping time to be between three and two. 25 days and it says there between the 10th of april and the 27th of april so then you can see i've got the drop down menu which comes in blue purple green and orange so they can select which color they want and then you can see the add to cart button now says limited stock that's a scarcity tactic then i've got the limited stock button shaking to catch people's attention then you can see under the limited stock button i've got the trust badges because the other company used trust badges i thought i would too 
and then I've copied again what they've done. I've used a video of the product as well for my website. If they're doing it, I'm doing it. If they've generated $177 million in revenue, there must be a reason why. So I've copied their formula by putting a video on my website too. And what I've done is I've built a Vimeo account um, and then I embedded the code into my website and then it's playing my video from Vimeo on here. And then you can see I've got the product description um, and I put a little notice about the coronavirus period about delays and stuff so it doesn't put people off ordering and then I put number one rated home fitness workout tool are you looking for a home workout solution to keep fit and toned here at home fitness board we have you covered easy full body workout with the picture again of the woman and the guy then I've got the features and benefits which are copied directly from the other website and then I've copied this part again available in full colors offer end soon in stock available for immediate shipping that's all been copied from the other side and then I've got the guaranteed icon here which say number one home workout tool free returns 60 day guarantee 99.5% customer satisfaction that way it's going to build a lot more trust with the person that's on the website and you can see that I've got a 60 day guarantee just like the other website too then I've got the photo page on my website and that just goes over my little slogan it shows the links to the policies then it shows the Facebook link then it shows the trust badges so that's pretty much it for the home page but if you were to shop the product then I can show you the reviews that I put on here so you can see when you go to the product page you can see I've got the quantity breaks. If you buy more, you get a discount. When you scroll down, it's got the sticky add to cart. So you can see now when I'm scrolling, it says limited stock. So that's the sticky add to cart. And then when you scroll down to the bottom, I've also got the reviews from Luke's reviews to build up a little bit of trust. So that's pretty much my website. Now, I personally feel like I've done a better job of their website. And I feel like this is going to get a better conversion of the Simply Fitness Board website. Now I built the website, picked a brand name, made the logo. I need to now reach out to an Instagram influencer for a collaboration because I'm only using Instagram. Instagram influencers only for this challenge now you can see my Instagram page on the screen now just a disclaimer this isn't a brand new page I had an old fitness page and I've just translated that into the new one which is the home fitness board now the reason why I did that was because with new accounts you have a restriction of how many people you can message a day and I didn't want that restriction because I'm doing a 24 hour challenge if I'm only able to message 10 people a day then this challenge is pretty much pointless so you guys can see I'm on the website clout HQ now this is a free website that I use to find Instagram influencers and what I do is I go to where it says the keyword search term and I type in gym and then I've hit search and it's going to come up with loads of different gym accounts that are related to those keywords um, and those filters and you can see loads of different accounts are coming up but I'm looking for a woman not a man because this woman's more leaning towards women so I'm just going to keep scrolling down so I find a woman that fits my criteria now this woman does but she's got a small following this woman does but she's got a small following this woman does but she's verified which means the chance of me partnering up with her are going to be quite impossible not not just that but the prices she's going to charge me for a verified account are going to be way out of my price range for what i want to do for the store the next woman she's got way too many followers um, for my liking so i want to try and find it somewhere between the 50 and somewhere between the 500,000 mark anything over that's just going to get way too expensive some of these have got some crazy followers so let's see what's going on okay perfect i found one that's already matched all my criteria so this woman's got 156,000. she's got a very good engagement rate 7.5 eight percent the average engagement rate should be between two and three so she's way above the average and she fits my criteria so i'm going to search for this woman on instagram and then i'm going to hit her up in the dm now before i hit that woman up in the dms i want to show you the template that i've just made to dm all these influencers so you guys get an idea of how i'm messaging them so this is how the template sounds hello i'm the owner and founder of home fitness board we are reaching out to inquire about a four hour story page post now the reason why i'm inquiring her about a four hour post is because normally influencers will charge you based on 24 hours and normally an influencer Influencer's best performance will be the first four hours after that it's pretty much a no-go so by only asking for a four hour post you're going to get all your money worth out of that four hours not just that but you're going to get a 60% discount by only asking for a four hour post now some influencers don't do it but some also do so it's a great way of getting a cheap shout out now I've put we love your Instagram page we feel your audience would benefit from our product as with the coronavirus situation people can't go to the gym and get fit for the summer that's why we want to promote our home fit Fitness solution board here are some details below your audience will receive a 30% discount on their first purchase you can can you please get back to me with your pricing info and your requirements thank you for your time and then my name so guys I found our influencer on Instagram and her name is Fiona Simpson and she's actually got more followers than the search tool showed us uh, she's got 206k which is even better and she's active on the gram which is important you always want to make sure that your Instagram influencer is active on Instagram because if they're not then they're not going to do very well now she fits all 
our criteria very well because I'm looking for an influencer that's not shy about showing their body and even getting quite revealing by getting in their bikini or in their underwear. Now, the reason why I'm looking for that kind of woman is because with the product that I want to showcase, I want to say that you can get these kind of results with this product because if a woman showing her body like this, a lot of other women are going to look at that and think, wow, I want my body to look like that. They're very, very revealing, which means women are like, damn, she's not shy to show her body in action, which means obviously she's proud of it, which a lot of girls will inspire to want to be. So by me reaching out to a woman and saying, look, a woman like this influence and saying, look, I want you to promote my product. That way, if they say in the description, you can get results like mine, it's going to be a very, very, very powerful way to get the sales in because people are going to want the same body as her. So that's the reason why I'm trying to go for a woman like this. Now her engagement rate's great. She's getting some crazy likes on her pages. So her engagement rate is definitely better than average. So I'm going to DM her and just send her the exact template that I showed you a minute ago. Now how you DM her is you go to messages and you're just going to let you go to the message box and paste that in. And I'm just going to send it. So you can see that I've just sent her that, um, which is pretty easy to do. It's not that hard to really do that. So I've just sent her that. Now normally influencers can take between two and 10 hours to get back to you. So let's see what happens. Now I'm not just going to message one influencer and leave it at that. I'm also going to want to go to her suggestion following so you can see here by dropping the menu down and it's going to show loads of other women that are similar to her and I'm just going to want to DM all these other women because at the end of the day just messaging one influencer isn't going to cut it so I'm going to message this woman called Sophie you can see she's got 1.3 million so that's probably not a good idea she's verified not a good idea let's have a look at this woman she's got 300k so that fits our build again so I'm going to DM her now because she fits all the criteria that I'm looking for then I'm going to go back again and search for another one. So you can see this one here. She's got a good amount. Let's have a look at her likes. She's got decent likes, two dislikes. So I'm going to message her too. So I'm just going to DM her the same message. I'm going to look for another person uh, that's in the same industry. She's got 140K and she's got 3,000 likes. What's her most recent one got? 3,000, 3,000. So I'm going to DM her the exact same template again. So guys, I'm pretty much DMing loads of influencers that are related to her page because at the end of the day it's a game of numbers like if you don't message enough influences you're not going to get enough responses now on average every hundred you dm you're going to get roughly between five and ten responses so that's why i'm going to go and quickly put the time lapse up and i'm just going to message loads and loads of women just similar to this one right now So guys, I actually got a message back from one of the influencers called Summer Wrench underscore X. Um, and she's been very, very good and very, very fast with the responses. So I've, I've got the whole conversation here. I'm going to share it with you. I didn't show you each conversation live because some of the replies took an hour. So to do that would take forever. So I just waited till the full reply was done and then I'll show it you guys, which I'm doing right now. Now she got back to me and she put, Hey, thank you so much for your message. I would love to work with you. I charge a hundred pounds for a feed post and a story. Now I thought that was kind of expensive. Now if we check out her page by quickly going to the information section. So if we check out her profile, you can see she matches our criteria criteria perfectly she's getting her body out and she's not shy to show her body in action which is good because that's the kind of criteria that i'm looking for now you can see some of her recent posts get 2,000 likes 3,000 likes some of them get now that's good because some of the influencers with 300,000 200,000 followers were getting the same likes now she's only got 40,000 followers which means she's very very good for her size of her account now it's not always important to go for the big accounts because some of the big accounts will charge you a fortune and some of the smaller accounts will charge you less and get you the same results. Now I did an engagement check of it and literally the best way to do an engagement check is just to Google Instagram influence engagement check and it will let you put their username in and it will tell you their engagement. Now her engagement is 7% which is absolutely amazing for her page. So then that made me persist with the conversation. So I thought for a hundred pounds that's expensive but then I thought she's got a great engagement rate. So because she had a 7% engagement rate I wanted to carry on with the conversation because I thought although she's charged me a hundred pounds while not definitely a hundred pounds I was going to 
negotiate with her. I don't mind paying that kind of money because she's got the same kind of results as a page that has 300,000 followers. So I thought, let's carry on with the conversation. She's definitely worth carrying on having a talk with. So this is how the conversation carried on. I put my pleasure, 100 pounds for four hour posts and story with link. She puts yes, why put story. Then I put and link in your bio. She put no, sorry, I don't do that. So then I put so 100 pounds for a swipe up story for 24 hours and a page post. She put yeah. Then I put can I see how many story views you get, please? Now, although her engagement rate's amazing, I also want to see how many story views she gets because if I'm paying her to put me on a story, I need to know how many story views she gets. And she shared that with me and she's getting between 3,000 and 4,000, which is amazing. Then she also showed me her post insights, which also looks very, very promising. So you always want to thank the influencer for showing you the transparency and you always want to ask the influencer for this information now if they sh if they don't share this with you it's because they've got something to hide so always make sure you ask them that because this information is definitely invaluable so after seeing all of those numbers i was very very impressed with what she had to offer so i wasn't worried about paying her quite a hefty price because i know based on her stats she can get some great results so then i decided to barter with her and say look how does 80 pounds sound she agreed to it she sent me a paypal email she also said if she could if i could send it through friends and family i said i'm not going to do that because i'm not protected i said i'll pay for you goods and services so she said can you pay the extra because i'll take a fee so i did i paid an extra five pounds so then i spoke to her about what days are the best to post on her page because i want to get the best results for my money and she said because of the quarantine and the covid19 situation every day has been very good for her which is very very good so if you've never done instagram influencers before it's never been a better time to do so then we carried on talking she said that she doesn't post anything on a news feed that's not her in the image now because i can't get the product to it because obviously the shipping times she said that she's more than happy to put a video on a story with a swipe up but she's not willing to put it on a news feed and the reason why she's not willing to put it on a news feed is because she doesn't want to damage her account she said the only things that do well on my news feed is pictures of herself so we carried on talking and she said to me look i only post things on my news feed and my page posts are only pictures of me in it so she said look if you're not willing to send me the product then i can't put anything on my actual page post i can only put the video on a story with a swipe up so i said yeah that's cool i understand that you don't want to post a video on your on your uh, news feed if it's nothing like what's currently on there it doesn't match what she's currently got going on so i said look i'm happy to carry on with the video on the story with the swipe up but are you able to post an image of yourself in a gym outfit and tag us in it and also say that you're getting great results with our product she agreed to those terms so i sent her the money and now i just got to send her the video of the product now me and the instagram influencer have come to an agreement that i'm going to be doing a video for her instagram story in the next hour and a half i haven't got much time to go out there and make a video for the product so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to search online for different videos of the product and try and find a video of the product that's pretty much already ready to use and put on our instagram store So roughly between 15 and 25 minutes, I was able to fully edit the video. Now you probably saw in the time lapse, this was very easy for me to edit, which it really, really was. Now I'm really happy with the final results and I'm really confident in the results this video can get me for my Instagram influencer. Now I'm just gonna quickly explain what I've done here and then I'm gonna send it to the influencer. So you can see about different clips in the timeline. Now the bottom clip is the audio clip for the music. Now where I got the music from was I Googled um, fitness motivational music and it came up with loads of different non-copy right ones and i downloaded the one that i like the most and then i've got the video footage in here from youtube now how i downloaded the footage was i went onto youtube downloader copied the url from the video and then it pasted it and sorry and then it downloaded it to the ipad then what i've done is i've added my logo for the whole of the video duration and i've replaced it for where their logo was previously so you can see there in the top right i've replaced it with my logo then i've added text at the top and text at the bottom and i'll get on to why i did that in a minute now the reason why i did that was because 
obviously the video footage originally was for YouTube. Now the YouTube dimension size is completely different to Instagram dimension size. So I had to shrink the footage dramatically, which obviously lost a lot of resolution. And I tried stretching the video footage to fit the whole of the, um, the whole of the screen but it just didn't look right, it looked completely off. So I've had to put a white bar at the top and a white bar at the bottom and then put text on it because I either could have left it with black bars with nothing and that looked really unprofessional or I could have put white bars and then text at the top and the text that I put was swipe up and the text at the bottom I put was 30% off. That way it's gonna grab people's attention. Then what I did was I did some basic color correction by click, clicking on the clip and then if I show the original you can see without it it looks a lot more yellower and it looks a little bit not as nice to the eye so if I enable that it looks a lot better. Then I enable the sharpening effect that way it makes the video footage a little bit more sharper and because I had to resize the video footage it lost a lot of its um, quality so I had to add a sharpening to it to try and reinstall that quality. So that's pretty much what I did guys there wasn't much that I did to the clip I literally just resized it put text at the bottom and text at the top top um, because if if i didn't I, it would have been left with black bars so i had to do it then what i did was i added my logo in the top right and i just added my own background music to it it did originally have its own background music but if i didn't get rid of their background music i would have been flagged for copyright so that's why i got my own background music from google now that's pretty much all i did guys in the video editing software as you saw in the time lapse so guys now you've seen the video in its full glory what i'm going to do now is i'm going to send that to my instagram influencer because she's literally going to post that in 35 minutes and then what I'm going to do with you guys is I'm going to catch up with you guys in 24 hours. So guys, it's been just under 24 hours of the Instagram influencer posting my video on an Instagram page and an Instagram story. And these are the results just under 24 hours. So I'm gonna refresh the page so you know this is real um, and this isn't fake. So you can see it's refreshing and it's just refreshed. So you can see we made within those 24 hours, $32. So guys, you've just seen the results after 24 hours of the Instagram influencer marketing campaign and they were dreadful. We only got one order, which equivalent to $32. So it was definitely Definitely not a good campaign. Now, I want to say something. The reason why this wasn't successful was because I didn't send the actual influencer the product which she could make a video of herself. Now, the reason why that's so important is because when somebody follows an influencer, they're following that person for a reason because they like that person, they're inspired by that person. So if that person's not in the video that they're trying to sell something in, like for example, my balance board, then when the audience sees the video, because it's not got them in it, they're not interested, which means the story traffic is going to go down not just that but they're not going to have trust now if my influencer was in the video of her actually using the product that i was trying to sell then that would have been a complete game changer now the reason why i know this is because i've been doing influencer marketing now for four years and i've been working with a lot of students and a lot of business partners that have done some amazing things in the influencer marketing industry and i'm going to be showing you that in a minute just to show you that i know what i'm talking about and like i said the reason why this wasn't successful is because she wasn't in the video and she even said to me in the dm that look if i'm not in the video then the results may be really bad and she also said to me the reason why i can't post the video on my actual instagram post not story was because i only do instagram page posts that have me in them so if i for example could create a storyboard like this where she makes a video of the product she talks about that people are at home now in lockdown which means they can't go to the gym and get that summer body and she could have said look with this balance board you can get the results then it could have been a little quick video of her on the board doing some light weights on it and that would have done insane numbers not just that but that would have also done great because that would have been custom content that i was going to be able to use for facebook ads so working with instagram influencers can be great because you can actually get custom content out of them and use it for your facebook ads now the reason why i didn't actually send her a product was because one i can't even get it to her in time it's going to take me roughly between 40 and 50 days and this challenge was specifically for the lockdown period and it's also great because you guys are going to learn from it so the main reason why it didn't work guys was because i didn't send her the product now when you're working with influencers
influencers, especially Instagram and YouTube influencers, you must send the product. Now it will add an extra 30 to 40% onto the price tag. So for example, I paid her 85 pounds for her to actually make a video for me as well. It would have probably cost roughly between 100 and 130 pounds, but it would have definitely made a massive difference with my Instagram influencer. So something else that I could have done, which would have obviously increased the results was just use Facebook advertising instead of Instagram influencer. But I got told in my last videos to try and use Instagram influencers instead this time. So that's what I did. Now, the reason why it would have worked a lot better on Facebook was because the main reason why it failed or flopped was because the influencer wasn't in the video. Now with Facebook advertising, it doesn't matter who's in your video because when you advertise on Facebook, there's no influence audience. It's just Facebook's audience. So they don't care who's in the video. As long as the product looks good and it can help them, they're going to buy it. So if I advertise a product on Facebook, I can definitely say the results would have been a lot, lot different. Now, not just that, but I'm also testing other products in the fitness industry on Facebook and they're doing great. Not just that, but subscribers are and other mentor and students are. So I just want to quickly show you something. And this is a different Shopify store using Instagram influencers and Twitter influencers. And with this Shopify store, when we're working with influencers, we are actually sending the products out, which is making a massive difference. So I just want to quickly show you this. So you guys can see on the screen, I'm on a different Shopify account. And this is an account that we use strictly influencers on, which is Twitter influencers, Instagram influencers, and YouTube influencers. And like I said, we normally send the product out with this Shopify account. Now let me refresh the page so you know this is real and this isn't fake. So you can see the page refreshing and you can see it loads back up the same numbers. So as I said, influencer marketing is amazing. Don't be put off it just because in this challenge it didn't do well. Influencer marketing is one of the best ways to market and I and I honestly mean that. It's just you've got to make sure you send the products out. You've learned something throughout this challenge, whether it be building the store, messaging influencers, negotiating with them, uh, making your videos in terms of how to work with influencers. I hope you've learned something from this challenge. Not every store you're going to do is going to be successful. Even for us experts in the industry, we're not always doing successful stores. Don't let those other gurus put you into that concept where you think anything's going to be successful, especially when they do it. Because trust me, I speak to seven and eight figure drop shippers and e-commerce business owners, and they don't always have successful journeys. So before I end the video, let me know in the comment section below what other challenges you want to see on the channel and make sure you turn post notifications on and you subscribe because there's going to be a lot more challenges coming in 2020.